Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we collected eight of the moons here in Bub Lane, this time, no, last time we collected nine, this time we're going to get eight of the moons here in Bub Lane, which will get us to a total of 50. Uh, we cannot get one of the moons here, it's impossible, and the other one we'll be getting on the B side. And that'll get us to a total of 51 A side moons plus probably all of the B side moons. Uh, I believe this doggo here, if led to the appropriate location, will give us some moons, so let's go do that. Um, I'm not sure if this is the spot or if we have to look somewhere else. Nope, it's not. Different spot. Okay, yeah, you just lead the doggo around by just sort of making, just moving along the beach like this, uh, and eventually the doggo will start sniffing out a moon. I forget where it is, it's somewhere on the section of the beach because the dog can't go anywhere else. See, as you can see, the dog notices that there's buried stuff and just has a bit of a sniff. Have a bit of a sniff. Rap. Dig, 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 dig. Oh no, I'm sorry, doggo. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, you can also throw your cap and have the dog catch it, which is super, super cute. Thank you, puppy! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Super duper cute. Rup! What a good puppy, good puppy, good puppy! Oh my goodness. Okay, um, what else do we need to do? I'm not sure. Uh, we have to do the two beach volleyball moons. I'm gonna give that a shot next. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to be chasing this. Uh, basically, what you do is go into two-player mode, grab yourself a Joy-Con, there we go. Uh, Cappy is here, there we go. Uh, you have to re-crouch once you've done that, because Mario forgets he's supposed to be crouching. All you gotta do is just crawl over here. You gotta put Mario inside the area to start. Once it's started, you just put him back outside so that he get, doesn't get in the way. And then you just have Gappy do all the work. Um, we have to get 100 bounces. It does get faster, so it won't take too long, but it takes a while, and if you mess up, you could do it all again. It's pretty annoying. Which is why I'm cheesing it. So yeah, as you can see, Cappy moves around this area very quickly, and she has quite a large radius of, like, deflecting, so you don't have to worry too much. Uh, it's still not easy, but, you know, it's not, it's not hard, whereas doing it with Mario, especially in this run, would be very, very hard. And I don't want to, so I'm doing it this way. <laughs> Um, apparently in the Superstar Mode ha hack, the one that like makes the whole game way harder, there's three volleyballs instead of one, and if you miss any of them, you get messed up. So you get, you get a moon for 15, um, and you get another moon for getting 100 bounces, which is going to take a while. <sighs> Pretty annoying. But yeah, that's basically what you have to do. Just keep bouncing it back. Basically, you want to position Cappy so he's under the shadow. Um, when you're playing normally, you can throw Cappy to deflect the ball or just have it land on Mario. But this way is much, much easier than having Mario like run over or try to throw Cappy. Uh, because you can just get her in position really, really quick and just bounce back the ball and you're good. As you can see, it's quite fast now. Uh, you can see everyone back there is partying as well, which is pretty cute. Uh, as with the uh, other moon I cheesed, the jump rope challenge, Mario would normally be falling asleep while sitting there, which is kind of funny. Uh, but because we're crouching, he's just crouching. And yeah, you can see it's gotten very quick at this point, even though we're only about halfway there. I think it might slow back down at some point as well, but... 
mostly it's just but it's pretty much like this. And yeah, I'm using a single Joy-Con. You can actually use any kind of controller to control Cappy in two-player mode, but a single Joy-Con is fine. You don't need anything else, really. Uh, I believe Mario controls the camera anyway, so you don't actually need a second analog to control, to control Cappy in two-player. Um, It is a little annoying if you use one Joy-Con each. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. <sighs> yeah, I kind of figured that would happen at some point. That's really annoying. Okay, um... <sighs> Let's just give us another shot. But yeah, you get the idea of what we're doing here. And you've got to get all the way to 100, and once you get to 100, the volleyball fellow over there. We'll give you a second moon that lands on the other little rock you can see. Um, pretty simple. Pretty annoying. I don't, I don't like either of these moons very much. I mean, well, I mean, this one or the jump rope challenge. I don't really, like, the jump rope sort of fits because it's, you know, it's Mario. It's a guy who jumps all the time. But this one isn't that thematic, really, in terms of Mario, and it's really annoying. I don't know. These, these are not my favourite moves in the game, I would say. Let's just do this challenge for a very, very long time. Uh, and if you mess up at all, you got to do it again. And it's boring. And it takes a long time. And... <sighs> You can actually, if you're not careful, Cappy will get bounced back onto Mario's head if you bounce the, bounce the ball too close. Uh, and you have to hit the Y button as player 2 again in order to take off, which is can mess you up if you're not careful. Oop. Uh, the ball is allowed to hit the ground, as you can see, provided you hit it quick enough. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm just not a fan of these these mini-games. I'm more of a actual platforming kind of person. And, you know, hunting around and looking for hidden stuff. Whereas this, it's just do a very, very long challenge where you're not allowed to mess up. I kind of wish it gave you, like, a couple of misses. Like, like in the old Game & Watch games where you had three misses and then it was game over. Um, instead of, if the first miss is, you have to start over again entirely. Um, that would probably make it less annoying, I think. Like, you could get, not get a point for that one, but if it has to reset the score, that's just annoying. <sighs> At least the music is really chill. I pretty much said all there is to say about this minigame. It's just really long. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're nearly done with this kingdom. Like, we've got a few more moons to do in this video, and then the B-side probably in one more video. And then we're moving on to luncheon. I'm expecting that to take a while. Uh, like New Donk City, Luncheon is a very big kingdom, and there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, we didn't do the story all the way there, but that's just because I thought it was easy. Uh, because to fight the boss, you have to use a capture again, and so it's not affected. Um, but we, so we will be doing the story, and then probably using the hint art to reset the kingdom, like we did here. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff to do. There's lots and lots of stuff in Luncheon, and it's fun. There we go. Okay. Okay, job done. 
I'm just gonna make sure we grab these two moons just before I go back to single player, just in case. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And then we can get on to normal challenges again, the kinds that are fun. Okay. One player, please. And I have to recrouch because the control forgets what you're doing. There we go. Put my Joy-Con back. Okay, so, yeah, those two moons are done. Uh, there should be another... What is it? Five moons we can do? Yeah, five moons. I'm not sure what they are, though. So let's have a look around and see if I can remember. <laughs> uh, we did the dog one. Let's talk to. We can have a chat and say what talk to thinks. Waiting in the cloud sea. Hmm. Gap in the ocean trench. Okay. Uh, I think waiting in the cloud sea might be the ones on this rocket. I forget. It's possible we did this rocket earlier. I cannot remember. No, I think this is it. I think this is where I need to go next. Okay, so this sub-area, as you can see, there's clouds everywhere, and we're going to be wading through them. Like this. Uh, you can clear the clouds by whacking them with, with your hat and throwing Cappy through them and that kind of thing. Uh, you can also use this stuff to clear the clouds a bit. Uh, if we could do downward cap throws, that would be fantastic. Oh, we can. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Not recommended. Falling off. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, normally you can throw a cappy on the ground and she helps you clear the clouds pretty easily, but not so much in our room. Uh, if you do a ground pound and then immediately press Y, you will do a downward cap throw, which is perfect for our situation. Uh, but if you wait just like a second longer, you will instead start rolling at full speed and probably fly off into the void. So watch out. Um, I'm gonna activate that because that stuff helps. Reveal the path I can take. Yeah, the clouds come back pretty fast, so you want to make a good. You'll be moving fairly quickly. Uh, of course, you can stand on these platforms no matter where they are, no matter whether you can see them or not. But to make sure you can, like, hit the right spots, you want to. Ow! Don't do that. I'm actually trying to do a spinning cap throw, but it's not happening for some reason. The um, Pro-Con version of the motion controls is not nearly as precise as the Joy-Con version, which is a little frustrating. Yeah, that's what I mentioned earlier. Um, if you don't press Y quickly enough, instead of doing a downward cap throw, you will roll off into the void. So you have to be very careful. <laughs> And it's at full speed, because that that's the f like how to get to full rolling speed as quickly as possible is to do a ground pound and then start rolling. Oh my goodness. I, I think probably backflipping and then cap bouncing is how I'm going to do this, just to get as much distance and height as possible <laughs> with each move. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you can see there's a moon over there. Uh, the other moon is in that like frame over there. I don't remember exactly how you get to either of those places, however, so we may have some trouble. Uh, if you're trying to do this coinless, you have to be very careful not to kill any of these burbos, because they all have coins in them. Uh, that's not the run we're doing, so um, we're okay, but it is something to have in mind if you maybe want to do a coinless run sometime. Um, I'm having less trouble with spinning cap throws now for some reason. I'm not sure why. 
So yeah, there's a moon down here. Uh, in this, in this, like, puddle of the fog. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And the other moon is up there. Um, this ledge is still here, even though you can't see it. So just carefully make your way across. There we go. Um, I think I can just go straight forward here, can't I? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay, I'm not really sure what the zappers around this ledge are for, given you can just go straight through. There's like no reason to use them. There aren't even any enemies there. Weird. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, that's the one Talkatu mentioned, waiting in the Cloud Sea. I believe Talkatu would say like the normal moon rather than the somewhat hidden moon in a sub area most of the time. I'm not sure if that's always the case though. Okay, and what was the other one? Gap in the Ocean Trench. Okay, so... Obviously it's somewhere in the ocean, I can't remember where. <laughs> and it's an ocean, so it's, it's kind of big. <laughs> um, let's just grab a fish and have a look around. Uh, see what we can find. Because I get the feeling it'll be somewhere towards... Well, hang on, this, this is a trench. Is it this one? Mm, it could be. Hello, fishy. Uh, is that a moon? Or is that just coins? Might just be coins. Wait, it's not coins, it's like, oh, I guess that counts. Okay, uh, we already got a moon down there. Uh, underneath those breakable blocks, there was a moon, and we got it in the previous video. What was this video? I don't remember. I'm doing these videos back to back, so they kind of blur together a little bit. Um, well, this all looks like parts of an ocean trench, so... Oh, I think it's here. I think I think it's over here where the, um, where the Sphinx is. Because this is the deepest part. It's kind of like a trench compared to the rest, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, there's a little hole here you can go in and get some coins if you want. And you can go down as well and get this move. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Gap in the ocean trench. Okay, so how are we doing? Six. There should be two more. Uh, I don't think there's another sub area left, but maybe there is. Dot dot dot. <laughs> um, there's some purple coins here that I somehow missed, even though they're really obvious. Don't know how I did that. Um, we already got the one from the chest here inside the glass palace. Uh, I guess I'll go back to Talkatu and see what he's got to say, or what they've got to say. Talkatu is not necessarily he him. Keep that in mind. Wokachu is a bub who talks. Hence the name. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, make our way over here to the talking parrot friend with a hat. I don't know if I already noticed that Wokachu has a hat. I mean, it makes sense. Everyone in this game has a hat, but shh, it's a shortcut. Oh, I remember that one. Okay. Let's I keep talking. That's the one we can't do, a relaxing dance. Uh, that's, you use the costume, you go into the costume room. Okay, um, so we have to do a sh it's a shortcut, which we can do. Uh, there's one more here, that one, which I want to do and don't know what it is. If I talk to you again, will you tell me what it is? No. Alright, well, I think I know what the secret is, and the, short the shortcut they're talking about is, and I think to do it, you need a fish, or you can just swim normally, but it's going to be faster to use a fish. Uh, I think it's down here. Uh, over basically where we were with the bob coins. Just this sort of area. Uh, I think, I think. Um, I don't know, I'm doing this all from memory, obviously. Um, basically, yes, there it is. Uh, this cave here, you can just swim in here. And it's got lots and lots of coins and a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Maybe the tourist comes here? I mean, this is a logical place for a tourist to come, but I don't think they do. Maybe they do, though. It's entirely possible that I've just forgotten that the tourist, in fact, does come here. Um, and as I mentioned a second ago, it is a logical place for a tourist to be. It's, it's the seaside. It's, it's 
like basically Mario Sunshine, which is a game about a vacation. <laughs> um, hmm. Might need to just check if there's a tourist moon here. Da -da -da. Okay, no, no, I don't think there is. Okay, so what's the other one that I've forgotten? Oh, bubbly northern, northern reaches. Okay, so you just have to go all the way up to the northern end and have a look around, basically. That's the one I'm missing, right? Pretty sure it is. Yes. So yeah, you just go up to the northern end of the place. Uh, way up here. Uh, I think it's a little bit further this way. It's basically where this ledge is, if I recall correctly. But I could be recalling incorrectly. That's also possible. Let me see. Yeah, I'm recalling incorrectly. It's not here. It's further along. Uh, Yeah, it's over where there's, there's little lumps over there. Yeah, it's one of those. I mean, it's in it's in one of those. But what happens is you go over here, uh, you ground pound in the middle, and one of, and like the little um, seaweed monsters will pop up and you've got to kill some of them, basically. Uh, that's what I thought was going to happen. Maybe it's over here. There we go. Seaweed monsters, you just wipe out some seaweed monsters using Cappy. Like that, and there'll be a few more seaweed monsters. Just keep taking them out. Uh, and also take some breaths in case you run out of air. Sometimes a good idea. Oh, that's right, you have to do all, like, grandpa each of these in turn, basically, I think is the way it works. And each of them spawn little seaweed monsters. And then you can do the middle one, and it has the moon. Oh no! <laughs> okay, yeah, I should have been clearing out the seaweed monsters as I went, but I, I wasn't wasn't doing that. Okay, so <laughs> let's warp over there because this is the exact opposite side of the world. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, ah, uh, there we go. Alright, so we just got to take ourselves over to those lumps again. And yeah, you just ground pound the three little lumps, which make uh, monsters spawn that try to knock you out, and you avoid getting knocked out. And then you can ground pound the middle, and the moon will come out. Uh, I'm not sure how much of an indication there is that you're supposed to do that, but I managed to figure it out, like, on my first trial without any trouble, so I guess it's okay. These spots are sparkling, I guess, which is a bit of a clue. You ground pound them, and you're like, what? Nothing happened. And you try the other ones, and nothing happens, except you get attacked by these guys. Uh, and then eventually you try the middle and it works and you're like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. I guess? I don't know. So yeah, Cappy takes them out in a single hit, so they're not that scary, it's just they're a little annoying to deal with because you're slow underwater. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There we go, okay. We now have all the moons we're getting in this video. There's one more moon we can technically get, the peach one, but I like to do those in the B side because they're technically post-game. I mean, they're definitely post-game, they just aren't in the moon rock because peach isn't in the moon rock because she's not an alien, I guess. <laughs> um, and the other one is the impossible one. So, let's head over and cash these in. There we go. To the Odyssey! Yeah! Odyssey, 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 Odyssey! Ba da 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 God, I love this game. <laughs> Catch these in, there we go. And then we're gonna do a B-side video for Bubbly. And then we're going to Luncheon Kingdom. Pretty exciting. Waha! Ah, uh, why am I pausing? Anyway, 
Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, next time we'll be opening the moon rock and collecting all of the B-side moons in this kingdom. Also, hopefully the few purple coins we've missed. Um, I might come back for them later though. I might not bother to put them in a video. Uh, we've been pretty much everywhere. I'm not sure where the other purple coins would be. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, next video we will be doing the B-side of Bubblane. Who me?